What's up everyone, this is Cybernat8610, and of course I was able to get some more sneak preview packs for the Dark Illusion, so yeah, let's see if we have some good luck on this. Also, I didn't say in the last video, but this is like the Comic-Con mat that you could get, San Diego Comic-Con for Yu-Gi-Oh, and I was able to buy it off eBay, you can see, there you go, <laughs> it shows a Comic-Con right there. So I was really happy about being able to get this play mat, but I know a lot of you were asking about it and everything too. So there's the promo card again, now I have a playset of them, and let's see what we get from our packs, we have five packs, I'm not going to miscount this time. That scared me last time. I was like, wait a minute, did I get all 10 packs? <laughs> Let's see. We have a DD uh, Salvant Thomas for rare, and then a Magician of Dark Illusion. There we go, another card I needed. Like I said, mainly just going after Dark Magicians, but of course, if there's anything else you guys want to see for deck profiles, let me know in the comments. If I'm thinking about Metal Foes, I'm thinking about a few other things too. Spirals look like they might be pretty fun. Can't wait to see what future support spirals are going to get, too. I think they're going to get a lot better. We have a Tyramid Cruiser. Rare. And then Spell Strider again. It's another one for us. Still kind of funny to see Spell Striker grown up. You know, he looks so cartoonish. Third pack. There we go. Make sure it focused. Magician's Row. Got a few of those, though. That was like the preview card. Uh, we have a Spiral Gear Drone. That's a good rare to get. And a Metal Morph Formation. There we go, for the Metal Foes. That's their field spell. Okay. Forgot about that. That was in there. Now, two packs left. So far, all super rares, but some pretty good super rares. Let's see if we can at least get something a little bit higher rarity. I hope so. We have a Metal Foes uh, Volt Flame. And Lunalite Perfume. Super rare. Maybe that's telling me to build Lunalites, like I was talking about in the last video. <laughs> we'll see. And last pack. Can we end with something above a super, or at least super that I need for Dark Magician? I'm not opposed to that. Let's see, Spiral Gear, uh, Big Red, that's a good one, and Magician's Rod, so you know what, I'm okay with that, that gives me two more Dark Magician cards to build the deck, I believe the Xe Monster is also super rare, so hopefully I can pick up a few of those very soon, and uh, yeah, like I said, I think just about everything for Dark Magician is not too tough to get, or at least for right now, so we'll have to see, and uh, can't wait for Eternal Soul to actually get printed too. But yep, hope you guys have enjoyed this opening, as always, thank you guys for watching, and uh, can't wait to get a box of this set, I'm at least going to probably get two boxes of this set too and uh, so be sure to subscribe to see those openings in the future and have a lot of different videos planned but if you guys have any uh, requests on different types of videos whether it's discussions, deck profiles, uh, openings, just all kinds of different stuff let me know in the comments and also let me know uh, how you guys did the Steam Preview whether you went of course Saturday or if you went today on Sunday just let me know. As always uh, thank you guys for watching you guys are awesome and of course I will catch you guys later. See ya! Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cybernight Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cybernight CCG for Cardfight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!